Get the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. There's just a lot of evidence of, of that. So we're gonna once again, we'll talk about that some more. Yeah, so. and, and I think that that's uh, it, that's a very good example of the the call from Colorado. I think that um, that isolation is. You know, I, I just, from seeing families on a on a day-to-day -day basis that struggle with this, it, it just really sort of can govern sort of how decisions are made. And and uh, um, I, I don't know why it is, but sometimes families are, you know, have a diagnosis of, or someone's in the hospital, had a massive heart attack, had quadruple bypass surgery, or someone has cancer, and everyone's sort of at the door with pies, and what can I make you? And then, you know, Alzheimer's is one of those, it's kind of like, I'm ashamed. Like, my husband's not showering anymore. Ooh, you know, he he's not social. My wife, you know, can't isn't social with her friends anymore. So um, I, again, not not uh, here to paint a totally dim picture, but um, it's an appreciation for um, someone next to you maybe going through that, and it, you know, to have an open mind about that. Next next slide. So what is sort of the upside of this, right? Um, and how do we how do you get involved? I mentioned that in the first couple slides. So the Alzheimer's Association has created this great program called Trial Match. Um, I mentioned that Alzheimer's does not currently have a cure. The challenging thing with finding a cure is that you need clinical trials. In order to have clinical trials, you need people that want to be in clinical trials. So the Alzheimer's Association, uh, along with many leading institutions, Boston University being one of them locally here, very involved in getting people involved in clinical trials, um, obviously appropriate you know, to meet the clinical trial stage. Um, uh, you should never enter into a clinical trial without a discussion with your physician. But the beautiful thing about Trial Match is the following, is that it is a free confidential service. It's sponsored by the Alzheimer's Association, so there's credibility behind it. Um, it's, it contains a database of, of publicly available funded clinical trial sources. Um, I actually, I was going to sort of show it, but you can't see it on my smartphone. If you go to the, um, if you do just Google trial match, um, it comes right up and, and it really walks you through a very simple sort of uh, what do you do in terms of how do I get involved in trial match. And it literally starts with a phone call or a simple questionnaire online. And then there's, uh, you, you complete the questionnaire and then behind the scenes it's sort of like, you know, eHarmony or Match.com. They're going to match you with sort of what's your, you know, what, what would be an appropriate uh, a clinical trial. And then if you give them permission, them meaning trial match, uh, to contact you, then an individual from trial match uh, will uh, contact you and provide you information on the available uh, trials. And that's the most important thing. That by, and, and by the way, I forgot to bring the little forms that they actually have so that you can actually fill out the forms um, and submit them to the Alzheimer's Association. If you fill out the form that is simply saying that you are willing to talk to somebody to see if you'd be interested in participating and if they'd like you to participate in, in one of their trials. But it's really important. There are, I want to say nationally, there are only about 20, there are a little over 20 centers of Alzheimer's research because it's Boston. We have two of them in Boston. Partners and BU are both centers to get extensive funding. The, these doctors also get extensive funding, by the way, from the Alzheimer's Association. I was at a, I was at a, a presentation that they did about three weeks ago um, where, the, where the researchers who are being funded by the Alzheimer's Association to the tunes of, mil, of millions of dollars were talking about the research that they had actually done. One of them actually directly related to the trial match program because it had until recently it had been that in order to find out whether you have Alzheimer's before you demonstrate the symptoms, before you have the dementia, you, they could find out but you had to do a test that really involved, it was a very expensive test, it was like an MRI through which they could see whether the, at some aspects of your brain had deteriorated and therefore you'd be a likely candidate for, for doing more testing because you were likely to get dementia in three years or five years. This one woman with research money funded by the Alzheimer's Association has now come up with a drug, right? Basically, so, uh, something that you, can, that you can take, and then they can take a blood sample based on what you've taken, 
which will allow them to figure all of that out without your having to go through an MRI, which is this extreme, so it makes it, the, it'll now make the research much less expensive because it'll make helping, figuring out who can participate much less expensive. So there's a lot of those examples. So we'll bring cards next time. If you contact that number, you can also sign up, on, you can sign up online. Absolutely, and I think again, just you know, we as Arthur mentioned in the beginning, in terms of funding and, and resources, um, clinical trials won't necessarily pay for someone to come to your home, but they may. Clinical trials are always, you know, uh, evolving and developing, but it really is about drug research, and it's a wonderful, wonderful service. Again, it, it's free, and uh, you know, I encourage anyone to take advantage of it or or to uh, uh, contact. Right, uh, and we're tr a and we're trying to get enough people to sign up from this area so that, right. as Shelby has suggested. Typically, to this point, people have had to go to Boston to right. participate in the trials. Well, that's a hassle, right? So we, we really, but if there is enough base here mm -hmm. for folks who are participating, we can get them to kind of come to us, which would really be ideal. And the next slide, please. So again, I think we've just covered this, that it really, the goal is really to increase the number of trial matches, to increase the number of enrollees. Again, without clinical trials, there's no one to actually um, um, participate in, in the research itself. And, and the goal of Trial Match really is to provide the uh, public uh, with uh, information on the progression of the disease and, and resources available to treat it. Um, it's sponsored by the Alzheimer's Association. Again, I just want to reiterate that it's not some sort of private entity. It, it is the uh, Alzheimer's Association and backed by a very credible, credible organization. Yeah, this is one of those weird ads, you know. Yeah, oh, participate is, in a drug yeah, trial. Right, right. And it's We're our new super <laughs> product, you know. It's, this isn't that, right? right? This is like, this is real. Right. And the, and the you know, again, just to reiterate, the uh, calling, giving someone permission to reach out to you is not sort of a, and I'm going to call you and I'm going to call you again. It's a very professional, uh, very personal uh, uh, relationship that, that is developed through Trial Match. Okay. Shelby, thank you very much. And by the way, I didn't mention at the beginning, sure. we're, uh, I've, for, if you've got questions as we go along, please hold them. We're going to have time for questions at the end. Now, I'd like to hear, have you hear about all those folks who hadn't or who had but didn't know all the things they do. Uh, Mary Beth Frayne, I did that wrong. Mary Frayne Johnston. Mary Frayne Johnston. You know, um, my memory is going. So to really talk about Baypath and to give you a sense kind of from, from her perspective, of what's available. And you should know Bay Path is like very local. Their, their offices are right on Route 20 in Marlboro. Marlboro right. Uh, so to learn more, um, Mary Frank. I'm Mary Frank Johnston. I've been a case manager at Bay Path for about seven years. Um, and during that time, I've dealt with a number of families who are dealing with uh, someone, hel helping to care for someone in their family with Alzheimer's disease. Uh, it is one of the most heart-rending situations that we do see. I, I've had a client who thought her middle-aged children were still in high school, and she was perfectly coiffed and well-dressed and driving around town with this misconception. Um, I've had other clients who very tenderly took care of their spouse for 10 years in the home doing the full range of care that you can imagine that one ha has to care for someone whose capabilities are declining. Um, and um, so we're here to help in these situations because very often there may be no children, there may be children who live far away, there are children who are very preoccupied by their own needs to earn a living and take care of their own families. And uh, typically what we'll see in the case of where there's someone dealing with Alzheimer's disease is people wait and struggle with the disease on, and all its ramifications on their own before they come to us. Um, and so if I could urge you to do any one thing today, it's write down our number. It's 508-573-7200. We have a website, baypath.org. And you can call us at any time and speak to one of our information and referral specialists who can tell you about our programs. And, and by the way, we're going to have this on cable, on local cable, and we'll put a banner for other folks who, who want to see this at the end of the program so that they can get that. It's 508-573-7200. And you want to ask to speak to the information and referral department, someone in the information and referral department. Um, uh, we have a wide range of programs, so you don't have to start off with the most intensive um, programs Bay Path offers. We do offer a variety of, of um, free or low-cost workshop-style programs on things like chronic disease management, um, uh, 
chronic pain management. Um, uh, we also also they and those programs generally last about um, six to eight weeks and are about two and a half hours and they take place in various um, locations in the community. Um, so that's one place to start. We al also offer a caregiver program which is currently in transition but we have offered support groups through that program um, and I have sat in on a couple of those sessions. They're very illuminating. Um, when you get to the point where you feel you need services, we do offer a, a range of home care services to help people stay in their homes as long as possible. And those services usually start out with a, a basic package of about three hours a week or $300 a month of services, which can include things like light housekeeping, which would include grocery shopping, personal care, um, to help someone with their shower, um, a, a couple of a day or two at an adult day health facility, which can give the elder with the Alzheimer's disease or um, other afflictions an opportunity to socialize while giving his or her caregiver a chance for a little respite. And by the way, how much do those services cost again? The services are. Um, you pay, a, there's a sliding fee depending on your income. And if your income is low enough, you pay nothing at all. If you're right? on Mass Health or your income is very low, you, pay, you would pay nothing. But the main thing is to understand even if you're not on Mass Health, there is, this, there is this myth that these services are only available if you're on Mass Health. In other words, if you have no assets. Yeah, that's, and that's not the case. Th right. there, are, there are state funded programs that, once again, are administered through BayPath right. that can provide you with a certain level of services at home, either for free or really for, on a, for a very small For a nominal fee. I right. mean, someone making, I had a client who was making about um, $23,000 and her copay was going to be $83 a month. Um, and that's sort of on the high end for our clients, but even once you hit the respite over income category, which is when your income climbs a little bit, um, you know, that would start off at 50% of the cost of the services, which is about $150 a month. 